What is going on everyone? I'm Adriano and this video is about the new feature released in AWS Glue called Flex Jobs. On August 8th, 2022, AWS Glue released general availability of a new AWS Glue job run class called Flex. Flex is an option that you can configure when running your Glue jobs that will now run on spare compute capacity instead of dedicated hardware. According to AWS, this will allow you to optimize your costs on your non-urgent and non-time sensitive data integration workloads. So where does it make sense to run Flex enabled on your Glue jobs? It would be a potential use case for non-production jobs, testing, and one-time data loads that are not time sensitive. It's important to note that the start and run times of jobs using Flex can vary because spare compute resources aren't always readily available and can be reclaimed during the run of a job, so I would be very careful for enabling this feature on time sensitive workloads in production. All right, so for my personal thoughts on this feature, I really think it's gonna change the way people use AWS Glue, how like spot instances revolutionized EC2 machines. There's a lot of data engineers running jobs in pre-production environments, as well as jobs on an ad hoc basis, so they're really gonna see benefits in the form of cost savings. It's important to note that Glue Flex jobs are only available for AWS Glue 3.0 Spark jobs, so if you're still running jobs in AWS Glue 1.0 or 2.0, this might be a great reason to consider upgrading to the latest Glue version for your jobs. So how can we enable this feature? This feature can be enabled through the AWS Glue Studio console. You should see a flex execution option. All we need to do is toggle this radio button so it's checked off and when we run our job, it will now use this feature. It can also be turned on via the AWS CLI interface by setting the execution class setting in the start job run API. It can also be run using the create job API as well, which will set the default class of all runs of this job. So how are flex capacity jobs built? Flex jobs are billed per worker, which means that you're only billed for the capacity that ran during the execution of the job, or the duration that it ran. For example, if you ran an AWS Flex Glue job for 10 workers, and AWS Glue was only able to acquire 5 workers, you're only billed for 5 workers, and for the duration that the workers ran. If during the job run, 2 out of 5 workers are reclaimed, for example, then billing for these 2 workers is stopped, while billing for the remaining 3 workers continues. If provisioning for the two reclaimed workers is successful during the job run, billing for those two will start again. So what are the cost savings from enabling this feature? So traditional glue jobs have a fixed DPU hour rate of 44 cents per hour at the time of making this video. Flex jobs are billed per worker at the flex DPU hour rate of 29 cents per hour. This brings us a total cost savings of 34%. So how do you think this feature is gonna impact how you run your AWS glue jobs? Leave me a comment below to tell me what you think. So I hope this video was helpful for understanding what AWS Glue Flex jobs are. Thanks again for watching and please like this video if you learned something and please consider subscribing if you're interested in more videos on data engineering on AWS. Thanks again and see you next time.